832 right now. Let's talk Oof. about this important topic for so many. The Federal Reserve not expected to cut interest rates when it meets today, which will really impact everything from your credit cards to car payments. Yeah, so inflation has soared since the pandemic, forcing us to pay more for everyday necessities. Well, financial expert Mike Matt Schultz uh, joins us this morning with some simple steps to maximize our money. And don't we all want to mm -hmm. do that? Absolutely. Um, so, so just for everyone to understand, because the big question, I think, for a lot of folks, I mean, inflation has leveled out. So why aren't interest rates mm. being cut? It's because they don't want to act too fast because the last thing the Fed wants to have happen is to cut rates too quickly, get everybody excited, everybody starts buying again, then inflation goes up, then we end up in this cycle where we were over the last couple of years. So they're being cautious not to do too much too quickly. Yeah, meanwhile, mm -hmm. people have no patience for it. They're like, lower no. it now. Because they Seriously. want to start making some of those big purchases that they can't because of the interest, like a house, for example, right? Yeah. Let's talk about, since relief is not in sight right now, some of the strategies to help really take control of your finances while you wait to make those long-term payment uh, yeah. uh, purchases. You're saying lower payments or negotiate those payments on your own. What are you talking about, your credit cards? Credit cards, mortgages, a lot of different things. Most anything that you're talking about with a business, whether it's a gym membership, a credit card, uh, cable, that sort of thing, so much stuff is negotiable because these companies want to keep you around and they're okay with lowering your interest rate, giving you like that logo t-shirt, waiving a fee, because basically that's kind of a rounding error for those folks. Mm. And they know that that little perk that they give you can make you feel really good, keep you on as a customer, and they make more money off of you in the long run. But how do you do that exactly? Yeah. How do you even start the negotiation? Well, with, with a credit card, one of the things that you can do is you can look at sites like Lending Tree, or you can look at credit card issuer websites, or even offers that you might get in your snail mail, and say, hey, I've been a customer for I've, I've had your card for a few years, but my interest rate is 25%, and I've just seen an offer for 19 or 21%. Will you match it? And a lot of times they will, especially if you're a really good customer. They're not going to want to lose a good customer that they're making money mm. off of over a couple of percentage points. And for like the cable bills and some of the other gym memberships, you could just threaten to leave. And then yeah. they, they, oh, hold on a second. We suddenly oh, found bye -bye. this lower payment for you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true. And it's and that's not just true with things like cable yeah. and gym memberships. It's true with car dealerships, too, right? right? They'll chase you out the door and oh, give yes. you that final, final offer. Let's talk about some of the folks who have mounting debt, right? It could be daunting when you mm -hmm. look at the number overall, and then you add the interest rate on top of that. Mm -hmm. How do you go about tackling a big issue when it comes to like a credit card debt and making sure you pay get those payments down? Yeah. Do's and don'ts. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so important to, if you know that you're struggling with making that payment and you're not sure that you're going to make that payment, the first thing to do is to let that lender know as soon as possible, because the last thing you want to do is spring it on them, you know, right before the bill is due or if you're already late, because these uh, these banks have these things called hardship programs that are designed basically to help people get through short-term financial mm. tough patches where maybe they lower your interest rate for a minute, maybe they let you waive a fee or skip a payment, mm. those sorts of things. But that's the type of stuff that you have to ask for mm. and you have to pursue because they're not going to come to you. No. I mean, another big bill for a lot of folks is rent or maybe your mortgage payment. Yeah. How do you tackle that then and try to get those numbers to go down? <laughs> Well, in, in a place like New York, mm -hmm. where, where the rental market is the, as tough as it's been yeah. in decades, sometimes there's, <laughs> there's just, you don't have any leverage. No. And that is one of those things that you have to understand that sometimes, as much as you can be a good negotiator, sometimes you just don't have the leverage mm -hmm. on your side. And in a case like that, it might be a situation where you end up trying to save or to kind of plan ahead a little bit and say, I may be stuck here now, but let me try and put a little bit of money away to where I can potentially move on in the future, be able to put a little bit of a down payment or a security deposit or something like that and move into a better space. All right, Matt, we are out of time right here, but those are some good tips along the way for 
helping people out. It's an important topic. We could talk about finances all day, my goodness. Everybody yeah. worries about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah.